Now that the inside's all wrapped up, I'm going to change the condenser and the orifice tube. This is the original, because I don't want to have any excuses. They're fairly inexpensive. So uh, there's the orifice tube there. That's the UAC part number. And uh, again, I got all this from Rock Auto. <clears throat> the interesting thing about Rock Auto, the, the condenser's in here, but uh, when you order something from Rock Auto, they always send you these little magnets uh, with different old uh, vintage cars on it, which is kind of cool. So I got this pink Cadillac. So I think I'm gonna stick this up here right by my Elvis license plate. Let's see if it'll stick. Uh, it won't stick. Okay. All right, we'll see if it sticks on here. There you go. All right, <clears throat> so my other XJ has this brand. Um, it's it's the UAC brand um, of condenser. It works great. Uh, the only thing, again, the heater core did not line up from that brand, so I do not recommend that. But uh, everything else should work fine. I'm not going to really film that. I think I've got another video on that. But anyway, let's see. All right, I wasn't going to film this, but i got to show you all something. All right, so first, I put this new condenser in, and I noticed it wouldn't line up. You see how it's kind of shifted here when I line this up, shifted over here. And so I step back. Do you see anything? Notice the condenser dips like this on the top. It's put together bent. This is unbelievable. The quality control on this mess is horrible. It did hold pressure because I, uh, you know, when you take the little ends off of it, it, it had the hissing noise, but my God. <sighs> I tell you, what, what should be a quick job, just because of these crappy parts, takes forever. All right, I've got all these boxed up, ready to go back to Rock Auto. That's the part number. You do not want to go with those, even though they worked on my other Jeep. The quality control is just not there. And, you know, I mean, people can say this is the problem, but, you know, even the ones you get at the local auto parts store, that's where they're made. But at least at the local auto parts store, I can inspect the thing. This just basically screwed my whole day's work up. So now I've got to wait till the auto parts store gets these. And this will probably sit another day or so. Interior is 100% complete in all its XJ glory. The only problem is I cannot even continue because of this mess. I was tempted to put this old one back on, but I'm not. Um, because if that old evaporator got some little particles, they would stick in here. You can't clean these out. Oh, that's aggravating. So I'm waiting for AutoZone to, to have me mine. As you can see, here's the new evaporator sticking through and the new heater hoses. So I guess I can go ahead and hook this up. All right, I just got this from AutoZone and got it installed. As you see, it's straight across. It doesn't make a dip like the uh, UAC from Rock Auto did. Now, I mean, this one's no, pur no beauty. You see the little wells. Now, one of the things that the Rock Auto one had the UAC one, was that they come pressurized. So when you open the little cap, you hear the hissing. You saw that in the video earlier. And it did that on the condenser and on the evaporator. The AutoZone one doesn't do that. So you're just hoping it doesn't leak. So I'm going to... I've got everything hooked up. i got to pull a vacuum on it. Got all the lines. Got the new orifice tube going in there. So here we go. All right, it's about time for the first startup. You know, when you have all the cash out uh, and you go to click that, uh, that key, you just hope something happens. So um, let me show you what we're gonna do though after that. All right, so we've got the two items we need to return to Rock Auto. And uh, this says that to arrange a return or report a problem, problem please contact uh, Rock Auto blah 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 and it says I got to December the 20th to return it so we're gonna test that and the next thing is that um, we're gonna see if this thing starts OK, 
Okay. Got the key. Oh, we here. Got lights. That's a good thing. Here we go. Oh. Our oil pressure gauge is working. Voltage. Radio. Let's turn the lights on and see. Yep, they work. Now I've got no refrigerant in it, so I don't want to cut the compressor on, but let's see how. Yep, all the flat. Oh, wow. It definitely blows about twice as hard as it did before. This is my initial test drive after the repair, so it's raining real hard. The um, heater core works great, but this is going to be a great day to test to see if it's leaking down there on the floor pan where a lot of these XJs leak. But I, I hope it doesn't. I've sealed a lot of things up, so we'll see. All right, here it goes. We're going to see if we got any water leaks. Bone dry. Very good. Okay, well, I'm back home. Uh, there was absolutely no rattles. Everything worked perfect. Heater blows nice and hot. Obviously, the AC don't work. I haven't had it charged yet, so I'm about to drop it off at the guy so he can charge it. It wasn't that bad, so um, I'm off to bring the uh, Jeep to have the AC recharged. I'll let you know how it turns out. But uh, overall, pretty successful. Don't be scared to do it. Have a good weekend.